1st July, Monday evening over here. We're going to check in to Cebu Pacific at the Manila International Airport Terminal 3. Got the family with me. That's a beautiful wife. Got the rest of the family right there, the cousins. This is my check in into Cebu Pacific. So I'm in Manila, uh, Manila International Airport Terminal 3. And just checked in, we're going to Thailand. And I'm gonna check out the priority pass for the lounge. So I'm gonna show you guys the Skyview Lounge here at Terminal 3. So this is a lovely staff here at the Skyview Lounge. This way is a, there's a prayer room and the rest room. We got snacks over here, coffee maker, some alcohol, and some little appetizers. We got peanuts, crackers, got some pandesal, cereal. That's the food over here. We got spaghetti pasta with marinara sauce, chicken adobo, yellow, and white rice. Also congee. We got a refrigerator full of drinks. Got some wine in there. Got some beer. Got some soda. Got some juice. This is the seating area. Outside there is the airplanes. We're flying to the Pacific, and those are the airplanes I see right there right now. This is our group over here. We just got here. We're all kind of hungry. And that's the Skyview Lounge here at Terminal 3. Manila National Airport. We just got off the plane. We're here in Bangkok. It's about 3.30 in the morning. It's the beautiful wife again. That's the rest of the group. On our way to a flight to Phuket. Yup, just like as Vanessa said, connect to flight to Phuket. We're gonna be here for four hours. <laughs> chill, get our luggage, and then check Wait, it again later. So Alright, so we're at the Bangkok International Airport. We're actually gonna fly again to Phuket. So we're just waiting for the counters to open for Vietjet Air. Uh, it's still another hour before we can check in. So we're just hanging out over here at the airport. So there's the empty counters. That's where we're supposed to go, I think. But we'll find out in a little bit. Vietjet Air. Part of our group, trying to be first in line. They're not sure if we're in the right line. That's my beautiful wife again. Can't stop saying it. She's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. See you on the next clip. So we're out here, Bangkok International Airport, and I got Vanessa right here. Guess what we found? Our first shrimp tom yum lays. Now we're gonna have Jeff try this for the very first time and see how he reacts to it. Let's see. Mmm. Mm. I'm just trying to finish it. It's really good. It's bomb. It is bomb. It's pretty damn close. Yeah. I can eat this with rice like it was lunch. It's Bumpy. so good. So when you go to Bangkok, try that out. So it's 20 baht equivalent to about 80 cents ish so definitely affordable and that's the airport prices so i can't wait to see it at the 7-eleven or the night market whatever because I, I want to go to the street food and hopefully i doubt they have this at street food probably not 7-eleven 7-eleven no, she's right 7-eleven definitely must try thumbs up thumbs up like and subscribe all right so we're gonna get some coffee here since we're still waiting and we're on a flat escalator or a walking escalator. With the two beautiful women right here. So it looks like my wife's gonna get coffee, Vanessa's gonna get a mango secret rice milkshake. 
at Dean and DeLuca. Straight ahead right there. So this translate in Tagalog, Dean and the crazy. Dean and DeLuca. <laughs> so it looks like we got our lovely ladies. Mango sticky rice. Good coffee. Alright, we're gonna go and check in now. We out here. Going to our connecting flight to Phuket. So we just got seated and we're flying Viet Jet Air. Right there. Got the window seat right by the wing. So we just arrived here in Phuket. It's about 10 in the morning and we're going to get our baggage. So our shuttle was about $55 for a group of 10. We got a, a van and a car. That's about five dollars and fifty cents a person for our group of ten. Sixteen hundred baht. Not bad, I think. All right, so we're in our mini bus. What's up, everybody? Yeah, we made it. Hey. We're here with Mr. Fiend. He's gonna take us to the Marriott Phuket Beach Club. Right, Mr. Fiend? Huh? You gonna take us to the Marriott Phuket Beach Club? <laughs> yes. Take us to the hotel? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's Mr. Fiend. He's just kind of shy right now. We got JR yeah, over there. Some... So I just noticed over here in Thailand, it's right-hand drive. JR likes this car because he's left-handed. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh man. Hi. Hello. I think they use the line to make sure your car's in the middle. So we're entering the Marriott Phuket Beach Club. Mr. Finn has brought us here. All right. Hi. Sawadi. Good morning. So far, they're really hospitable and nice over here. I'm here at the front desk about to check in. Just waiting for my turn. Views are pretty nice over here. Right there. Right here we got a man-made body of water. But right there on the edge, I can see the ocean and tips of umbrellas. It's not as hot as the Philippines. Not as humid. It feels really good here. We're hanging out. Alright, so this is the view from the bar area here at the Phuket Marriott Beach Club. Right over here. Beach is right there. You can see the ocean. Tips of the umbrella. The bar is right there. Extended to the lobby right over there. So she just came up to me and gave us a welcome gift. Gave us a bunch of these bracelets. Really nice. Nice touch of hospitality. There's a little, it's hard to see, but a little turtle on there. Right there. So we're checking in into the Marriott Puka Beach Club and they're so nice, they brought us out some drinks. He's gonna tell us about it real quick. Welcome to our resort. So they will come drink, we call for the party juice. We make from the local flower, look like this. We took the color from them, put a little bit sugar and lemon on top. Wow, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Cup cum cup. Thank you. So we got a rolled up wet towel here too. Ooh. And if I can open it, ooh, <laughs> refreshing. 
So we got 10 Thai mojitos right there. One representing each person on this trip. All right, this is our Thailand group right here. Cheers! Cheers. Thailand squad. Cheers. Second drink. All right. Cheers! Cheers. Family. 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 Yeah, so like Kirill said, we gotta zip this because if we freaking down it, we might be out like no, a you light. Zip it. Another nice touch I noticed is they use paper straws. Environmentally friendly right there. We have the girls over here at the concierge trying to figure out our activities that we may do. Right there. We're all rushing right now. We just found out that we can go to the Elephant Sanctuary in about 20 minutes from asking. So we're all rushing to change into proper attire. The van's gonna be here in about like five minutes. So everybody's kind of changing what they want to wear. To so prepare to bathe with elephants. It's not that hot, but just the pressure of trying to get ready real quick. Uh, it's getting to us, so let's see if we can make it on time. Man, you will guys find out. I'll show you in the next clip. All right, so we're going to the Elephant Sanctuary. There's our ride right there. Got my beautiful wife right there, beautiful cousin. Check it out. Sanctuary. <laughs> hey guys. I'm just messing with him. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Show you the next clip. Alright, so this is our first day, first activity. We're gonna show you guys how to do Thailand in four days. <laughs> Hi, so we check in here. This is the Elephant Sanctuary. So we're at the Elephant Jungle Sanctuary. It's about 2,500 baht per head. And we just signed in, paid, and we're gonna go in the waiting area right now. Looks like here we got names of the elephants and real history on them. We got Natalie, rescued 2016. We got Lucky, rescued 2018. Valentine, rescued 2017 Malik, I hope I said that right. Rescue 2016 and Fino Rescue 2016 and Lam Yai Rescue 2016. Oh, another one, Dak Kun Rescue 2016. All right, so they got lockers here, and if you put 100 baht down, they'll give you a key. They'll give you the money back once you return the key. So we'll put our valuables away real quick. So we opted to do the elephant sanctuary because we didn't want to do the riding the elephants because of how they're treated. So we thought this would be a better experience to bond with them and their natural habitat and where they're treated fair and right and not abused. Hi there, and your name? My name is Mike. And what do you do here? I just do internship and then working at Elephant Bengal Sanctuary. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. Hi. And your name? Yeah, I'm Beato Kai here. And one that is Emmy, she is now uh, like this just for the guests are coming now. Yeah? yeah, so she's helping us with registration. Yeah, something and, like that. Okay, so can you tell us a quick overview how this is? It's our first time here uh, and we, we wanted to do Elephant Sanctuary because, you know, I know the riding ones, they don't treat them right. Yeah. So we wanted to come here where you guys treat them right. Okay. Yeah. 
uh, we have many uh, for Thailand we have some riding camp, logging camp, but here we are elephant jungle sanctuary. Our mission is to let the working elephant and let them do what they would like to do and just relax like, like retirement park for them. Someone will rescue her from some circus or entertainment show or some riding camp. You know what I mean? Riding camp takes two or three persons sit on her back. Yeah, it's really heavy to carry. Yeah. And someone from the locking camp, yeah, locking camp is like the camp that cut down the big tree, let elephant be a taker and carry the big food from the mountain to the village, yeah. And now we don't have the, at here we don't have riding camp and we doesn't blame that they are not good or we are better because of what we are the same, same or we are different way they run for their business, we run for our business like this, yeah. Um, yeah, and our company have many camp around Thailand, Chiang Mai Nai camp, Phuket. Three camp, some we one camp, Pattaya one camp. Here we are, camp number one, Thailand. Welcome to Elephant Sanko Sanctuary. Yeah, continue later. We will inform you. Thank, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the information, and thank we look you. forward to the experience. Thank you. Thank you. So we got the group over here, putting on some sunblock. Beautiful wife right there again. JJ. What up? You come to save Elephant, and come to save me as well. Thank you. <laughs> All right, me and the wife, we got some watermelons over here. I'm gonna take it to the elephant. That honey? Yeah. <laughs> so here with the watermelons, we're gonna feed the elephant. All right. That honey? Yes. <laughs> Leave him. All those. I can give him one more. There you go, buddy. One bone. One bone. One bone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one bone. Very good. Very good. So here are the instructions how to boil elephant feces. Number one, dry the elephant feces. Weigh the elephant feces according to the needed quantity. Clean the elephant feces and put the elephant feces in the pot to boil in a ratio of 30 kilograms per one kilogram of caustic soda. You rinse the boiled elephant feces, then you bleach the boiled elephant feces with one half bowl of hydrogen, one bowl of silicate for three hours or until elephant feces become white. There you go, that's how you boil it. So there's the paper made from Poo Poo or the elephant. Okay. Thank you, E. Okay. We over here turning poo into paper. Poo Poo mache. Crumple it up, make it smell good. Poo Poo -ree. So we over here. We're gonna make souvenirs for our sons. Jordan and Jay and our daughter Gia. We're gonna decorate it. Take these home for them. So they know that we're thinking of them while we're on vacation. Because laugh with Jeff, that there's family, it's nothing with that family. So here's the elephant bathing area. They told us prepare to get wet. 
Follow me. You ready to do this? You're gonna go in there. Save the elephants. Yeah. No, not Check it out. I'm about to do that. Yeah. Get out here. Elephant bathing time. <laughs> they got mud all over them now. Check it out. <laughs> so we're gonna put we're gonna put the mud on the elephants. Come on, honey. You got this. Come on, elephants. Actually, this is really good for your skin. Come on, honey. Let me take a picture of you. Pretty fun doing this with elephants. It's so playful. Oh, nice. look out. Oh, he's uh oh, uh oh. Oh. So we in the water. Whoa. We're gonna watch the elephant. Check it out. <laughs> Let me go to Sophia real quick. There's my honey. Bathing an elephant. So we just ended bathing and giving scrubs to the elephants right now. So we went back, we freshened up. So now they're gonna give us a free poncho that goes with our entrance here. So they gave us free ponchos right over here. And my wife's gonna show you what they look like. Right there. So during the end, they had some food ready for us. Sorry, this is the after picture, but right here they had rice, they had fries, there was also some egg rolls, pad thai, veggies, looks like a chicken curry, some veggies over here, and fruits over here. Nice way to end the day, interacting with the elephants. What do you think? How was it? It's really good. Any commentary? I think I had so much fun today. I had so much fun because I had fun with her. Oh. I love you. Huh? <laughs> it's the end of our day and my and the rest of the staff helped us. So thank you very much. We enjoyed our experience. Katunka. Thank you.
See you next time. Thank you. Uh, later, buddy. What's his name? That one? Natalie. Bye, Natalie. See you later, Natalie. Just want to say thank you. We had a great time. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so we just checked in, got our keys. Group of 10. We're going to go by five. These guys are going to go first. Hey. Right over there. Yeah. How you doing? You know what? Go Coop Cup. I have Sleeping Beauty over here. After a couple minutes, she turns into Snow White. All right, so Newat's gonna take us to our room. Thank you, Newat. And here is the gym and the spa. That's where and the gym and the spa is. That's where you won't find me, maybe my wife. So here's our room, 2131. Now we are Phuket Beach, Thailand. Turn on the lights. All right, let's check it out. Got the mirror right there. Here's the bathroom. Here's the first bedroom. Got two double beds. Right here with access to the bathroom with that door. Doorbell. So it looks like here's the kitchen. We got a kitchen. Dining area. Living room area with the garden view. Let's check it out. We got some turtles on the window. Can you see that? Yes, yeah, there you go. Garden view. Oh, look, there's like a pond outside. Oh, and our towel's made out of elephant. Right there. Here's the master bedroom. With one king bed, TV, master bath, bathtub, shower area, two sinks, toilet area, and a balcony so you could enjoy the outside. Nice. I feel like I'm on vacation. It looks like we're right next to the tennis court also. Right there. Looks like there's a washer and dryer in here too. With an iron, an ironing board. I have instructions in there if you really don't know how to use them. Right, so it's nighttime here. We got our rest freshened up after the Elephant Jungle Sanctuary. We're gonna go to Patong Beach now, and the hotel arranged us with a van to go there. It's a very nice, spacious van. Right there says, Welcome. Look at those lights. Leather seats. There's the rest of the group, we're waiting for the other people. Alright, so we're going to Patong Beach. I'll show you guys what we see over there. So we just got here to Patong Beach area. So this is the Banzan Fresh Market. Across the street from the Bangla Boxing Stadium. Got a bunch of street food over here. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit camera. Yeah. Yeah. High technology. Yeah. Got some fresh seafood over here. Yeah. And explore. Get some good food. Hopefully not that expensive. 
Yeah, a little bit. We got some barbecue over here. So there's all barbecue over here. Yeah, thank you. Banza fruit smoothies. Damn, look at those shrimps, man. Okay, uh, Kay's gonna take care of us. We're gonna have that cook that salt and pepper squid. We're getting this. Ten pieces of shrimp. What else you want, man? So this is the banana pancake stand. So the wifey tried this mango smoothie from here. What do you think about the mango smoothie? So good. Fresh mango. Fresh mango. Alright, so me and the wife are trying this. It's called Sea Cheese by Werawat. So I'm gonna check out these food. Let's go pick which one we want, honey. What do you want? This one. So this one's this one's the oyster? Yes, oyster, grill, oyster, grill, garlic, salt and crushed noodles. So oyster with garlic and crushed noodles? Yes, in the grill. Glass noodles, alright. On the grill. Alright. So you want? You want how many you want of that? So we'll do two of that. And everything here is a hundred. I'm gonna show you guys again. Everything here is a hundred baht. Right there, a hundred. We all got me beer, thank you. Yeah, Thailand. Thailand beer. You got the fresh cracked coconut. There you go, so if you're going in for the oysters with noodles on them. There's our squid. We got Kay helping us out. What's up, Kay? Alright. So we got some garlic and pepper prawn over here. Check out that. How big that prawn is. Garlic and pepper prawn. So I, don't, so I don't really eat that much seafood and my wife knows I don't know how to peel shrimp. So here she is, peeling my big shrimp, just for me. I love you. So we got them doing it for the gram, garlic, butter. We got the garlic, butter, lobster. Ooh, look at that. Doing it for the gram. Tom Young soup coming. So we got Jilla. She got the mango sticky rice. Right there. You just add that milk? Yeah. Look at that ice roll. QB and Sophie got some ice roll. Okay. So which one's that? Delicious. Delicious? Durian? Yes, durian. 70. 70? Thank you. What? Yeah, just that one. You don't like it? <laughs> but do you like it? Yeah, it's sweet. But it's worth trying. It's sweet. They're trying durian. A fruit that's notorious for its smell, but they say it tastes really good. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. So pleasantly good. Yeah. <laughs> you you know, don't like it? What about you, Sophie? Final verdict. It's 
alright. I prefer the candy. <laughs> oh, I'll try the durian. <laughs> so earlier my wife got the mango smoothie. She liked it so much she wants to try something else, so now she wants to try the watermelon. Thank you. So we came from California, went to Manila, then flew to Thailand just to have this. Boom. McDonald's. So we got Quiel over here. Ordered the double Big Mac. Let's see it in person. So we got Quiel trying the double Big Mac in person. You let us know how it tastes. I think there's curry inside. Damn. Ooh. Oh. Look at that. Just like a Big Mac. <laughs> oh, all good. So two patties on top, two Approved. patties on the bottom. Approved. Worldwide Big Mac is the same. Approved. One thumb up. <laughs>